Hey bosses, Nina here. Just wanted to let you know that there's this great tool that I didn't even know about that Canva has. It is a free font pairing tool. Yes, you can select your font combinations for free with Canva. Let me show you how. Okay, every brand needs to have a default font that you go to or brand font. That it's your go-to. Basically, it helps pull your brand together so it looks cohesive and it's recognizable and people come to know that. Your brand um, font, if you go to canva.com slash font dash combinations, that's how you get here. This is actually one of their three tools that you could use outside of the designer. So again, we're looking at how you want people to feel. So I'm gonna stay with the theme of my 80-20 life vlog that I'm getting ready to release. It's gonna be about travel and lifestyle and eating and pictures, photography, you know, um, basically living a 80-20 lifestyle. So I do want it to be a little playful and it's funny because I just saw, oh, let's say, that says play fair. So that might be one. Meriwether is, a, is one that a lot of people use in their branding and logos and things like that. I actually like that. Um, I could use it with these two if I then um, put one additional font that's kind of fancy. So usually I do a serif, sans serif, and some kind of fancy dancy font. And let me show you what that means. Okay, so this is a serif. What that means is it basically has these fancy little lines under F. So notice that this F has a fancy little line here, or decorative, and one over here. The same thing with this one, this one's a sans serif. So this is without that decoration. So see this F doesn't have the line below or anything else. Um, let's find another T that might be a better, I'm trying to find ones that match the M right here. So see this has the fancy little lines under, little decorative stuff, but the M here doesn't. The reason I'm asking you to get a serif and sans serif and you don't have to remember which one is which is that there are times when you use one versus the other. So maybe when you're giving a presentation, it's a large room and people in the back of the room need to see it. You're going to use the sans serif for the one that's plain. It doesn't have the decorative items. To use the serif one, it might be something that a lot of books come in this, um, use this font. Um, and it's there, it's saying that for longer reading, it's actually easier to read serif. So decorative. Um, again, these go with my, what I'm going to do for my, um, vlog is going to be about travel, um, or our blog, um, with travel and things like that. It has the colors that I like. I think I can find another example. There's another example of both of those in use, in use. So railway, so this one's Meriwether with Brandon, right? Railway and Meriwether for some reason is a combination that a lot of people use. I actually think that I am going to use this combination, Railway and Meriwether. So I'm gonna go ahead and write that down as my um, font count combination. Um, oops, as my font combination. And again, if I click on either one of them, it just shows me which one's which. Um, and I think you can test it. So let's test it. Let's say 80, 20, life okay or okay i like this better because it's kind of laid back so the railway might be the main one or maybe it's the one i use the most and this is meriwether i like actually both of this so i can do uh, these excuse me a travel vlog okay so you can kind of see how they would look if you start using them. Okay, so I think I have the fonts that I wanna use. We're gonna use Railway and Meriwether. So if you wanna learn more about Canva design tool, go ahead and head over to my blog that I created. It is the ultimate guide to Canva and it actually is pretty, pretty detailed. It is at sociallynina.com slash Canva dash guide. Head over there now. See you later. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Ciao.